welcome back to another youtube video from me um i am going to discuss all of the items that i use for my plushies and everything you might need if this is something that you're wanting to do yourself so let's get into it so i started learning how to crochet plushies um i don't know maybe six months ago um, I've been crocheting since a young age, so I already knew most of the stitches, everything that you would need to do um, in order to create one. Um, so if you're a beginner, I highly recommend um, either reading patterns or watching YouTube videos if you don't understand what the pattern is saying. Um, that can be really helpful. So definitely don't feel like you're behind because it did take me a while to figure out how to assemble them all together. As far as materials that I use, we'll start with yarn. Um, I usually use baby blanket yarn. Um, Bernat yarn is my favorite. I don't know if that's how you say it, so don't quote me there. But you can get it at Walmart, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, any craft store usually. Um, Walmart has it the cheapest. It's usually like four to five dollars cheaper. They just don't have as many color options. But I'm always going for the soft, fluffy yarn. So like I said, generally that is what I use for my plushies. I do also use velvet yarn, um, which is a lot thinner, but it's a lot softer. So depending on what size plushie I'm trying to make, um, I use that if I'm making smaller ones. It does take a lot longer um, if you're using that to make bigger ones. So I don't necessarily recommend it unless you have patience, like a lot of patience to sit there and do more work. I also use some bigger, um, thicker yarn as well. Um, not very often, but like I said, it just depends on what size plushie I'm making. I generally stick to the baby blanket yarn because I'm more so making medium sized plushies. As far as hook size goes, um, I usually use a J hook um, or a K hook. Um, I do have bigger hooks. I do have smaller hooks. Like I said, it just depends on what size you're wanting um, your plushie to be what hook size you're gonna use, but to make my medium sized plushies, I usually use a J hook. As far as the kinds of hooks that I use, um, metal. Metal crochet hooks for me personally, everything is a lot smoother when I'm crocheting um, versus plastic ones or rubber ones. I just like the metal ones. So I highly recommend those ones, um, but whatever feels best to you, go for it. I will put it out there for all the videos that I post, um, tutorials, anything like that. Um, I am right-handed, so I am doing all of this right-handed, um, not left-handed, so I am sorry in advance for that. Um, it might be a little bit confusing at times. All right, on to our next part. So, as far as time, um, generally making plushies, it's, it's gonna take time. It's not a, not a quick thing. When I first started making plushies, it took me hours. Um, to do patterns that I can do in 30, 45 minutes now. So don't ever get discouraged or anything like that. Um, it just takes time to learn it and figure out how to do it. But once you get it down, it it's fast. So for medium sized plushies, it's usually like anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half for me. For larger, more complicated ones, three to three to five hours probably and all the small ones I can do in about 30 minutes it just depends on how like focused I am on it and if I'm not like doing anything else I have no distractions I can get them done pretty fast um and it also depends whether I've used the pattern before I'm using my own pattern it just depends okay cost of materials like I said earlier yarn pricing can be expensive um I've looked at Amazon all different kinds of stores um it just it really varies so wherever you can find it cheapest go there that's what i'm gonna say about that because yarn tends to get really really expensive if you are not finding sales or there's a store that sells it cheaper or you're buying bulk like it is really expensive like some rolls can get up to like 17 18 dollars a roll so i suggest looking for the deals i'm also gonna address um issues with patterns sometimes patterns are not worded the best are not formatted the best whatever you want to call it um and you might find yourself like feeling like there's a better way to crochet it, and you were absolutely right um i've gone through so many patterns kind of part of the reason why i like i'll build off of a pattern that i'm using with my own knowledge um just because there's like different there's so many different ways to do certain stitches or magic rings for example so many different ways to start that even without using a magic ring like 
it just really depends um, on what you're most comfortable with. I would definitely say find a way that you are comfortable crocheting and it will make the world a difference. Because if you're trying to follow like a pattern or a YouTube video or anything that is confusing to you, you're not going to get it done whether you want to get it done or not. Like I've been through that. We've all been through that. It's it's kind of a hard road to go down, but sometimes it's a trial and error process to find what makes it most comfortable for you. Another thing that's super helpful in crocheting um, is stitch markers. So if you're not counting your stitches all the way around, um, it can get really confusing. I like to use a stitch marker just to make sure I know where my place is. Um, they're super cheap. You can get them on Amazon. Um, you can get them all different colors. Um, but I always use a stitch marker just to make... I will count and use a stitch marker just to make sure that I do not lose count of how many stitches are in a row. Because if you start getting like off, even if it's just by a couple... Your plushie or whatever you're making will not form right, so highly recommend that. Lastly, um, if you guys have any questions about anything crocheting related, anything like that, um, feel free to DM me or message me on TikTok, Instagram, um, anything like that. I am more than willing to help you guys, um, so feel free to reach out. Um, I'm pretty good at responding for the most part, um, but yeah, so... That is all for this video. Um, I hope everyone has a great day and I will keep you guys posted on everything going on.